Hey guys, it's me Stace. Welcome back to another Friday PIP, which is our Pinterest inspired project. And today we're making this card here. Isn't that pretty? Uh, so to get started, you will need a piece of cardstock for the base of the card. This piece measures nine and a half by four and a quarter. You want to square it at four inches. It's going to open up like that. Same color cardstock. This piece measures two and a half by three and three quarter. You will need two pieces of white. For the inside, this piece measures a four by five. This piece measures two and a half, two and a quarter by three and a half. And a piece of pattern paper. This piece measures three and three quarter by four. All right, so we're gonna get started with our stamping right here. I'm using two of May May Made It stamp sets. I'm using, I might use two. I'm using the Believe. I love this one. And then maybe Birthday Wishes. I'm gonna bring in my little foam pad over here. And I'm going to grab my paper tray ink in the color Honey Nut, same color as my cardstock. And I'm going to grab the little beehive here, ink that up. We're going to stamp that in the lower right hand corner. Super cute. All right, now for the bees, I'm just going to use Versafine black ink. And if you look at the stamp set, there are quite a few bees on here. There's itty bitty ones and then there's like the large one, medium size, and then three other smaller ones. I'm using all three of those. And I have two of them here on my block. I'm gonna ink one of them up. This is the bigger of the two or of the three bees. So stamp him down and then just flip it over, grab the other bee and bring him over here. And then my other bee is on this block here. How cute are these little bees? She also has a stamp set called the Bee's Knees, my all-time favorite stamp set. All right, now we have the little trail to give the bees some motion here. There's one. She'll probably bring in some scrap paper over here, right? All right, another one on this little guy. And then this one we're gonna bring more down maybe, let's see. So it shows more of the trail. There we go. All right, how cute. All right, so that part of our card is done. Now we have the inside. Again, this piece measures four by five. And this one here, the Believe, it does have scripture related um, sentiments. Like this one here is Be Still and Know. That's my all time favorite scripture, uh, Psalm 4610. I might just want to use a happy birthday. I do love the mixed font here. I like this one, sending you happiness for every moment on your special day or hoping you have the hap, hap, happiest day ever. I don't know which one. I think I'm gonna use the hoping you have. Meh. Maybe I'm gonna use sending because the bees are in flight, so the bees are sending maybe. All right, we're gonna try that one there. This sending, let's go take that off here. I'm gonna take my little trail off and put this on. All right, in which way I got something on there? Oh, it's on the block. Okay, let me just make sure. Oh, it's on my stamp. See that? Some kind of gunk right there. All right, so it's gonna put that back on our block. All right, make sure I'm going the right way. I'm gonna bring in my little piece of foam here, and I'm gonna use the same Honey Nut ink. And we're gonna ink this up. Hopefully I can stamp this on there straight the first time. All right, let's go ahead and just eyeball it. All right, we're eyeballing it. Okay, I think that looks pretty darn good, right? For the first time. All right, now let's go ahead and assemble our card. I just dipped my finger in the ink. As I said before, <laughs> this channel is not about being perfect. All right, let's go ahead and work on our card. So we have this piece of pattern paper. This is also from Paper Tray Ink. I, I, I think it's called Father Knows Best um, Paper Pack. I'm gonna grab my advanced tape glider here. Honey did um, refill it for me. As I said before, I've had this uh, for a number of years and I have no idea how to blow the tape in. So I have my husband do it. Come on there. All right, we're gonna lay this on the front. If you want to, you can always ink the edges of the card just to give it some more life. 
I'm just leaving it the way it is. All right, really, really cute. Now this piece, you only want to glue half of it because that's going to open up the card and our card's going to sit on that. See how that's going to work? So I'm just going to put it here where it's going to go and then take my adhesive and just line it up with that. So now I have a, a point and just go around. You do want to stamp it or um, glue it pretty good because this is going to hold the card up. I apologize for the squeaks. All right, so this is going to go here. I'm going to hold the adhesive part and just center it on the bottom. Make sure it, make sure it hits the bottom and then make sure it goes on there straight like that. Okay, that's what the card will look like. Super cute. So it does stand. And for the little B image, I'm going to pop that up. Let's bring that over here. So really simple card. I do have a card kit for this. I'm going to use five foam squares here. All right, here's the card kit. Where's the card kit? Where is the card kit? Right here. Okay, so there's the card kit with the envelope. Uh, just leave me a comment saying you want the card kit, and the first one that does that uh, will be the winner of the card kit. And I'll reply back to your comment with my email address, my email address, and you can email me, and the card kit will go out Monday morning. All right, I'm gonna put that on there. Such a cute little stamp set. I mean, you can't go wrong with the bees. I love the bees. All right, so there's that. Now let's go ahead and put the inside on. Apologize for the squeak. Put my extra glue there and there on the side. All right, bring this in. I want to be careful I don't touch because I do have ink on my fingers. Make sure that goes in there straight. Okay, there we go. How cute is that little card? So this is the one that inspired it. Uh, right there. And then this is the one that we made. Isn't that cute? And it does stand. Super cute. All right, so there you have our Pinterest-inspired project. Any questions at all, please let me know. Like I said, leave me a comment. The first one that comments saying they want the card kit will be the winner of the card kit. Uh, any questions, guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.